Big thing today is that if you tried to learn from home like I am right now, you likely had some problems. The state online classroom system did crash, and many had to find a workaround to get it work to get it to work. And in Mecklenburg County, well, that wasn't the only issue we came across. Today has been incredibly frustrating. It took forever to get into NCED cloud. It was kind of supposed to be a return to normal, whatever that might have looked like. But the first day of school for some was just not happening. You can't have. 47,000 students log into the same system without a few glitches, so we saw the first day jitters. Fox 46 has talked with Kristen Aquino for weeks. She says it wasn't perfect, but the issues she had were not with the teachers. People who I feel were more uh, comfortable with technology probably were able to jig and jag a little bit to get their kids on and ready to go. But there were issues with a lot of other things. Outside the online classroom system crashing on day one, CMS officials say classes started with some students still to an extent left out. The district says they've deployed 11,000 mobile hotspots to families that need them for remote learning, but they have a need for around 8,500 more, and it'll be next week before they start getting any of those in. Uh, there are a number of efforts um, that we're taking simultaneously to try to secure those additional hotspots as quickly as possible. Day one for many was not perfect, but day two? I am optimistic um, that uh, tomorrow uh, will go much more smoothly. But some say it may take a little longer than that for everyone to adjust. I'm expecting uh, the whole week to be very similar, quite honestly. I really think, based on the information we've gotten, that this week is going to be about forging relationships, setting standards for what the day is going to look like, the expectations. And on top of all that, we're told there was a two hour Internet outage that happened a little earlier today in parts of Charlotte. That was likely not good news for really anybody it affected teachers and their classes. We did ask about that, and the district did say that there are no plans and teachers having mobile hotspots as a backup, but they are welcome to go to their classrooms and do remote teaching there. Live in Charlotte, Derek Dellinger, Fox 46, getting results. Yeah.